The idea of teaching my mother-in-law to drive a car quickly and safely occurred to me after taking her out on a BMW M6. Judging by her screams and her grasp of the door handle, I could tell she didn't exactly enjoy how easily the M6 power oversteers. I wondered, could she be taught to drive a car at its limits? Could I take her from debilitating panic to Danica Patrick? John Phillips, upon hearing the idea, decided that a competition between mother-in-laws would be amusing and cause for interesting conversation at future family get-togethers. So we gathered up our mother-in-laws. Phillips convinced his sister's mother-in-law to join the competition, and we headed to Chrysler's Chelsea Proving Ground to teach the lady some basic car control. But what car should we use? We wanted something with enough grip and speed to be interesting, strong brakes, and foolproof handling. Enter the Mini Cooper Club and S. 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds, skid pad grip of 0.89 Gs, and brakes that can stop it from 70 miles an hour from 160 feet. Somehow we managed to convince Minnie to send three identical clubmans for our sociological experiment. After a day of getting accustomed to cornering harder than they ever had before, and trying to convince the ladies that the pulsation from the anti-lock brakes was indeed normal, we decided the mother-in-laws were ready for the track. We had our doubts that our mother-in-laws would actually listen to their son-in-laws. So for the racetrack portion of the story, we employed the aid of Skip Barber instructor Terry Earwood, pro racer Bill Adam, and SCCA amateur racer Russell Rudicelli. Earwood treated the ladies to an hour or so of classroom instruction, where he asked the ladies questions like, you know the difference between a spin and a crash? Volume. Figuring that sort of instruction was preparation enough, each of the ladies stepped into a mini with their instructors. We'll be honest, the ladies executed the instructor's directions only when they really felt like it. But gradually, each of the mother-in-laws built up enough confidence to start hitting slightly alarming speeds. Phillips's mother-in-law, Agnes, was consistently the most cautious of the three ladies and constantly underestimated her rapidly increasing abilities. She told us, I don't want to go more than 60 miles an hour, okay? She said this at the exact moment that her speedometer read 78 miles an hour. After a day of lapping, the ladies' times improved dramatically. They were still far off the pace set by our instructors, but they had more confidence and a better understanding for the skills required to drive a car quickly and safely. And we're happy to report that the cars and the mother-in-laws emerged unfazed and unharmed. We awarded the ladies trophies and champagne. They rewarded us by being good sports and by continuing to talk to us at family get-togethers. And if you think we're gonna make any quips about teaching old dogs new tricks, we've got three shredded left front tires to sell you. I'm taking mine home and breaking them. <laughs>